to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. 30 years later, the cast of Martin is coming together for a once-in-a-lifetime reunion. Because, you know, they had a lot of issues, but they all agreed to come together. And it's all coming to BET+. Plus. So, Whoa, um, Gina and Martin together? Wow. Everyone's coming back, yes. Wow. Martin, Gina, Pam, Dope. Cole. It's it's coming uh, June sixteenth, yes, and they're all gonna have a, a special tribute to Tommy. But this is fire. Wow. Well, this is cool. nice to hear because, um, as we know, you know, Gina uh, accused Martin at some point of some inappropriate behavior, and that was a whole thing. So I'm glad they're able to uh, to figure it out, have a conversation, right. and come together. And they're also interviewing a bunch of just like celebrities who were just diehard fans of the show. So. It should be a really great special. By the way, um, I need to plug in our podcast, guys. So I've been hosting this really, really dope podcast, uh, Summer Jam Through the Years. You can get it on Apple Music or wherever you can find podcasts. Ooh. But it's really, really dope, guys. Go check it out now. Um, it just We've broken down so many stories from behind the scenes. Uh, uh, Rosenberg and Ebra have been a part of it. TT Torres. Uh, we've had... Uh, Ralph McDaniels, you know, people who were there. The last episode is the stories behind uh, Jay Z bringing out Michael Jackson at Summer Jam, mm, wow. and it's really, really cool. the The interviews that they have is just a lot of information that you know I've never heard before. A lot of it, you know, um, people who were at work behind the scenes, who knew, who didn't, what exactly happened. So it's just really cool. It's a piece of hip hop history. There so is. please go check it out. Uh, just search for Summer Gem Through the Years. And shout out to uh, Jason Peters, who's been holding it down and putting it all together. Great job, Team Hot yes. 9 7. Yeah, so look at that, three Summer episodes. Gym. Yeah, wow. it's, it, they're really good. Check them uh, out. Yo, I, you know, I, I know things have been quiet on the uh, Mayor Adams front here uh, at Ebro sure. in the morning. I've talked sure to his team been. several times. Um, and they're like, well, he's coming by the show. He's coming. I'm like, look, I, I've gotten the message. <laughs> we, we, we've gotten the message that he's got a uh, business to deal with. He doesn't want to come to the station and talk about uh, half-baked ideas with zero results. So I, I respect it. Uh, today in New York City, there is a new housing bill being passed. Okay. It's called the Hotel Conversions Bill, where they will be converting more hotels in Manhattan to affordable housing. Interesting. Um, the current governor, Kathy Hochul, she's in Manhattan. She says today we're signing legislation to turn hotels into affordable housing so more New Yorkers can have a place to call home. So maybe this isn't just in Manhattan. This is all over the state also. Mm. Trying to find ways to get more affordable housing. So I thought that was something that we should acknowledge as something that may be dope. Let's see how this turns out. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, there is word that last week, uh, for New York City, demand for hotels hit 95%, which was pre-pandemic levels, the highest since COVID started. And uh, Broadway attendance and gross sales were the highest since theaters reopened. Wow. There you go. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So that's good news for so many different businesses around the city with tourism being back. Uh, you know, it helps everybody. So uh, just thought those were some good points to add to the flashing lights. 